I'm in the market for a travel tripod. It is difficult to make tripod comparisons online. Unlike cameras, which have performance specs, tons of online reviews, etc., tripod spec online is basically just dimensions. There's a lack of online resource on quality, stiffness, and the ball head. As I always do before buying a product, I do a lot of research. I enjoy the process, and I also want to make sure whatever I buy is right for me. So after doing the online research on travel tripod, I learned quite a bit, and I want to share this information with you. This part one of the video will be based on online comparison, and in part two, I will go through the hands-on review. What I'm looking for in my travel tripod is that it has to be small enough to fit in my day backpack. So this means it has to be less than 14 inches when folded. Uh, I have a small camera. It's a Sony APS-C mirrorless camera, the Alpha 6400. So you weigh less than one half pound, even with the lens on. So it's not very heavy. Now, I am not looking for a mini tripod. So it has to be you know, roughly three quarters of my body height or larger. And travel tripod can mean different things to different users. Now a pro that goes on dedicated photography excursions might have a very large backpack. So to them, a travel tripod could be a larger tripod. So based on my criteria, there are a couple groups of travel tripods. One group is about 12 to 13 inches when they're folded. And the second group is about 14 inches when they're folded. For their weight, they range from two to three and a half pounds. And this depends on their size and also whether they're made of uh, aluminum versus carbon fiber. Their height is about 50 to 60 inches with a center column extended. And they have a five section leg design. And for their center column, most of them have a two section design. Let's look at the travel tripods that are 12 to 13 inches folded. So here's a table of the uh, list that I compared. Now these are many name brands, and there are additional tripods on Amazon that are kind of generic, and some of them actually look identical to these, but I'll just focus on the name brand ones. And at the bottom, I try to list uh, what are the pros, um, advantages, which are in green, and then what are the negative um, features or attributes, and that's in red. Now, it seems like there's a lot to select from, but I'll show you that these four are basically the same tripod. So the Mifoto Backpacker S, the Benro Tripster Series Zero, the Benro Slim Travel, and the Open Folding Travel Tripod, they're basically the same. They all have a two-section center column, so the center column can be raised one stage or two stages, and that will raise the height of the tripod. At the bottom of the center column, there is a metal hook, and the center column is reversible, so that you can mount the camera and the center column upside down. One of the leg sections is removable, and then you can be used as a monopod. The Mifoto Backpacker S and the Benro Tripster Series Zero have the same specs, and then the Benro Slim and Open have the same specs. I suspect the Mifoto Backpacker and the Benro Tripster are just newer versions of the Benro Slim and Open tripods. Now the remaining two 12 to 13 inch folded tripods are Siray TS series and the Leofoto Urban LX225 CT. The Siray design is different. The first stage is not adjustable. And there is a second stage that can be adjusted so the tripod can raise up to its full height. Now, because the first stage is not adjustable, the center column cannot collapse down below the base of the tripod. So basically this can produce uh, instability and potentially camera shake because uh, you typically do not want to raise the center column unless you absolutely need to. And Siray does not have this option. By the way, this uh, Siray design is like the older version of the Mifoto backpacker. Lastly, we have the Leofoto tripod. The design is identical to the Mifoto and Benro, but based on online forum discussions, Leofoto's quality is much better. And this is in comparison to the consumer-grade tripods. So Leofoto uses a 10-layer carbon fiber material. And then there's also this website called thecentercolumn.com. This website rates tripods. Now, although this particular tripod is not rated on the website, 
the affordable tripods in general have a very good rating and very good value. This is in comparison to high-end professional grade tripods. Now let's talk about the ball head. The ball head is probably one of the most important component for the tripod. However, there's no way for me to test out the ball head. So I can only look at online features and make a comparison between them. First of all, the Mi Photo Backpacker and the Benro Tripster, the, uh, the head are basically identical. Here is comparison of all the ball heads. They have a lot of uh, features in common, so let's just uh, focus on what's the advantage and the disadvantages. So on the plus side, the Ophoto has friction control. So this friction control knob is inside the main lock knob. So friction control allows you to make fine adjustments to the ball head positions. Now all these ball heads have bubble level. Open has additional bubble level on the quick release knob. Let's allow you to level the camera in the portrait position. Then what's in common to all these uh, tripod is uh, they use uh, Arca Swiss style plates. And most of them have a main locking knob and a pan knob control. So that's uh, two separate knobs. Uh, however, there are a couple of minuses um, in here. The Benro Slim does not have a dedicated pan locking knob. So a single knob will do both the ball head and the panning. And then the Siray and the Benro Slim use a lever style main lock. So a lever style unlocks and unlock, locks and unlocks in partial turns. This is good for quick lock and release. However, it kind of reduces the fine tune and the control you have. So to me, this is a negative. Okay, now let's look at the 14 inch tripods. These are basically similar in function as what we saw previously with the 12 to 13 inch tripods. The 14 inches is just a bit longer, a little bit taller, heavier, and the legs are slightly thicker. These all have uh, five section legs. And for the center column, there's two sections. And the legs are inverted for storage, just like what we saw earlier with the uh, smaller tripods. We have the Mifoto Road Trip S, the Benro Tripster Series 1, the Siray A Series, and the Ophoto also has a 14 inch tripod. However, it is not sold in the United States, so I cannot get any additional information on this. Then there are two additional tripods from Three-Legged Thin. Three-Legged Thin tripods look really cool. However, their specs have much higher load capacity rating. And I doubt these numbers. You know, 30 pounds and 66 pounds are similar to professional grade full-size tripod. I just don't believe this tribal tripod with these uh, five section thin legs and small ball head can equal the uh, performance of a full-size tripod. In terms of additional tripod features, um, except for the Leo Photo, they all can be used as a monopod. And except for the Siray and the Leo Photo, they have an interchangeable spike feet. So that's a plus. Uh, however, uh, it's not clear whether the spike feet are included with the purchase or you have to buy them separately. On the 14 inch tripods, the ball head appears slightly bigger than the 12 to 13 inch. That's because the center column is likely a little bit wider, so the ball head is a little bit bigger. In terms of uh, the plus and minuses, again, the Ophoto has a friction control, so that's very similar to what we discussed earlier. Uh, the Benro Tripster Series 1 also has a friction control, and it is a separate knob. So you can see from the photo that the Tripster Series 1 has four knobs, one for the main ball headlock, one for the friction control, one for panning, and one for the QR plate. Now, the negatives are that the three-legged thing, both tripods have a single knob to control the ball head, and I do not know how you control the panning. Now, let's talk about warranty. So the Mifoto and the Benro, they both have a five-year warranty. It comes with a three-year warranty plus uh, two additional years with product registration. The Siray has six years, the three-legged thing has five years, and the Leo Photo, it is only sold on eBay. So I don't know what's the warranty on that. And that's another reason to buy these tripods over the Amazon generic tripods. 
because on Amazon, you get a 30-day return policy from Amazon, but it is not clear what is a warranty on those tripods. This concludes the part one of the video. I hope I provided useful information on the various 12 to 14 inch travel tripods. I will put links in the comments below on all the tripods mentioned in this video. In the upcoming weeks, I will post part two, where I will go through the hands-on review of the travel tripod that I purchased.